So there's a pretty common type of post on Instagram that looks like this. It's basically a tweet of some sort and the little logo from Twitter, the name, if there's a verification check mark, blah, blah, blah. Gary Vee uses it a lot. Uh, Doug Boast, <laughs> I can't say his name, also uses it. A bunch of people do, and I use it. I'll show you here. There's a couple posts that I've posted that are like that. Basically, it's a, it's a nice quick way to make a text post, and it also kind of promotes your Twitter page or your other pages. And I've even done it like here where I have a response to something, a whole thing. But what I'm going to show you is how to make them look real clean like this for free, uh, all on your phone. So let's go over to Twitter. And I actually just made a post that I want to turn into an Instagram post. And it's this one right here. I made it six minutes ago. So I'm going to screenshot and crop just to show that tweet. Okay, let's save it to the photos. And then we don't need Twitter anymore. So we're going to close out Twitter. Now what you want to do is go to an app called Canva. You can download Canva for free on the App Store. Just search Canva, just C-A-N-V-A. -A. And right here it is for free. Basically, it allows you to do all kinds of graphic design stuff pretty simply on your phone for free. It's also a web-based thing, so you can use it on your computer. But in this case, we're just going to pop over to the Canva app and let it load. Now, if I was going to just make a square image, I would do the Instagram post right here. It kind of gives you the default sizes for a lot of these things. What I'm going to do instead is create an Instagram story because what I found out is Instagram actually allows you to use a little bit taller than a square now within the feed. That's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna not use this whole space. We're gonna center the thing and that's how it will look. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So first thing first, down here on the bottom right, we're gonna tap the plus button. We're gonna click images and your images that you have from your phone should come up. Uh, most recent image here is the screenshot from my tweet. So I'll resize this so that it's biggest it can be here. It's a little, this is probably the hardest part <laughs> is lining up your tweet. I'll give it some space on the sides. And it doesn't really matter how this looks because we're gonna make the background the same as the background of the tweet here in a second. So once you get that lined up where you want it, we're gonna hit the plus sign again and scroll over here to where it says shapes and create a square. Now with this square, you can change the color down here. You, there's a couple different options, but we're gonna use the eyedrop and we're gonna hover over the background of the tweet. So as you can see, now that's the same color as the tweet. This one, we're gonna just make the full background. So we're gonna expand it the whole way. Up at the very top right, there's a dot, dot, dot. We'll press that. And then this allows us to make it move forward or backwards in the layers. So we're gonna go backwards. So it's in the back there and then we'll just hit done. I also don't really like the fact that like the little analytics thing is there, the six minutes ago and the little carrot. So how we're gonna get rid of those things is by pressing the plus sign again, pressing shape, taking another square and making this square the same as the background again. Except this time we're gonna make it really small and I'm going to drag it over that little six minute thing there. And then I'm gonna make a copy of it. There's a little two squares up here at the top right. If you press that, it will copy it. We can make that tiny again. It can be really sloppy because no one will see the edges of this. So, and I actually wanna move this over just a little bit to get rid of that dot, dot, dot. Okay, so we're gonna hit done. And then it's as simple as right here in the top right, pressing the down and it will uh, save it to your camera roll. You can also press the share and It'll allow you to, it's supposed to allow you to share to Instagram right away, but I'm not going to do that. Sometimes I like to save it and then post it later, but we'll hop over here to Instagram, press the share button. And then as you can see, it automatically squares this up. I could zoom it in a little bit. It still looks pretty good. Or I could, you know, have it take up as much space on the timeline as possible, which is there. You just zoom out the whole way and that's, it's not going to give you the whole uh, story size, but it's, uh, pretty close. But for this, I'm actually going to use the square because I feel like it's overkill to anything more. And we'll hit next. And then I like being able to throw filters on here. That color is a little nicer. The reason my twit my background and my Twitter, yours might be white. I have mine set to like the dark theme. So there's all kinds of different, you know, I like the, the vignettes because it adds a little, uh, it makes it a little more dynamic. Let's go with this one. And I'm not even going to make a caption here because I'll do that later. And Omaha, share. And there you go. That's that. That is how you make one of these Twitter images on Instagram. It's really simple. You can do it for free with Canva. And it's just nice to have some extra content to repost. And if you do post this, use the Gary V 
challenge hashtag because he's talked about repurposing content and this is actually where he's the one that I learned how to do that from. So tag that contest if you post something like this. Let me know in the questions down below if you have any specific questions and or if you have any other tutorial type things you'd like me to do. I do digital marketing professionally so I know my ins and outs of Instagram, Facebook and that stuff and I'm always willing to share whatever I know. So feel free to ask me down in the comments and I'll try to respond. And if it's a big enough thing, I might make a video about it. Thanks again for watching. See you around.